Here I am in my IB Physics class page. I'm going to click Add Content Block and add an assignment. I'm selecting Messages and Activities, then I'm clicking Assignments, and I'm going to call this Unit 1, Day 1 Homework. I click New Assignment. In the title, I rename it again, Unit 1, Day 1 Homework. Whoops, rubrics is offline. I make sure I've got a date. I save it in my gradebook. I give it some points, five points, and then I click Save. Screen, I click Save again. Here's my block, it's been created. And what I'd like to do now is show you how this looks on a student's end. When a student signs into the Unified Classroom, they see the same thing. They have a dashboard with their courses, they have upcoming assignments, and look, there's the assignment that I just created. They also can access similar navigation tools on the left side panel. So what I want to do is click on Class Pages, and here I am. I'm inside the IB Physics class page. Here's the homework assignment that I just created. If I click on this, I would be able to access attachments if there were any and download those files. Then I can also click this hand in button to turn in my work and post it to this homework assignment. So let's click that hand in button. When I'm on a computer, a PC, what I do is I click this choose files button and then I'm going to browse and find this homework uh, file that I've created. Click Open. And once it's finished uploading, which I see here it is, I can click Hand In. Now the student view will be a little bit different if they're using their iPads, uh, but that's something we're going to work with students on. So the student has now turned in this homework, it's handed in, she can't hand it back in again. So let's go back to the teacher view. Here I am, this is me, the teacher. If I click on this button, View Work, next to the assignment, it will bring up a roster of all my students. So here they are. And look right here, next to this first student, I have one new submission. I can click this, and here is the file. If I click on that file, it opens in their annotator. And this is similar to Schoology. In the annotator, I have lots of different tools for commenting on the file. I can click text boxes. I could add images from my computer if I wanted. I can highlight things, highlight PowerSchool. I can draw and say, in orange ink, great job. So this is very similar to what we've seen in Schoology. When you're finished, we can scroll back to the top. You can input a grade for the student, five out of five. If you'd like, you can use this check mark to say, hey, I've got a check here, and so that means I've reviewed her work. You don't have to use this. Instead, you can just keep everyone as unreviewed if you prefer. When you are finished, you can hand it back to the student so that she can now view it when she logs in, or you can go back to submissions or click on to the next student to see her work. Right now, I don't have any more submissions, so I'll go back to submissions. And now I can click the X to go back to my original view. There it is, the score that I entered, five out of five. Now, the best part perhaps out of all of this is when I view student work, grade it, and input their grade, which we could do in Schoology before if we wanted. Well, as soon as I put the grade right here, it automatically shows up in my gradebook. So if I click here on grading, and then I go to my score sheet or gradebook, there it is. The five that I just inputted automatically is transferred to the gradebook for this assignment. So that's the beauty of this system. That's something Schoology could never do. We could never input grades in Schoology and then have them automatically appear in Plus Portals. But now we have that access.